Good afternoon, folks. What you here with an inbox review of uh, a couple of uh, figure kits that uh, will go along with uh, the LCM3 from Trumpeter. Normally, I don't do um, figure uh, inbox reviews and so on uh, because it is what it is. To me, uh, it, it's figures, okay? There's nothing uh, really... Uh, I'm going to put that... Uh, to really knock your socks off, for the lack of a better word. But uh, one of the things is um, they're available, and uh, it's not often mentioned. I know uh, it was never, I had to do my own search to find them, so I thought I'd just throw that in there for folks uh, that may wonder. Uh, the 1 in 35 scale uh, USN uh, landing craft mechanized crew, okay. Uh, the kit number is 00408. And um, Here's uh, we have the box, and uh, there's not nothing on the sides, and on the back uh, we have uh, uh, the color rendition, the painting guide, and and so on and so forth. Okay, and uh, they're all humble paints, but I'm sure that we can find uh, suitable paints uh, for them. Uh, there's six figures, uh, two screws, and uh, here is uh, one of them, and. Uh, <clears throat> The detail, and we're going to zoom in on this. And now that we're uh, we're out of that, do 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 do, then uh, we go up one, or is it down? No, we got to go up. Oops. Let's get back in our box. It's three by three, so, and uh, <clears throat> the detail is uh, nice and crisp, and. Uh, Let's get off of uh, my autofocus doesn't work like it used to. There we go. And uh, let's see. And uh, let's get autofocus back in there. Sorry about this, folks. Let's get autofocus back in there and see what it. Uh, and uh, there we go uh, with uh, the detail. Okay, right up to the top of uh, the sailor's hat. And uh, there's the other one. They looked apart. Okay. Uh, nothing much. Uh, we can see their, uh, their seam line. Not the seam line, but the uh, normal uh, trouser pattern. Uh, there is no seam lines that I can see on these uh, to date. So it'll be a nice addition. Now this is the crew itself, and it uh, contains uh, six members. So we'll put that back in the box. But the kit that I received yesterday that inspired me to do this one, and uh, we're going to once again uh, zoom out, and uh, it's this kit, and it's uh, U.S. Infantry on board. Okay, and that's kit number 6522 from uh, Italy, and uh, it uh, has your, <clears throat> the uh, the infantry that uh, were getting ready to, uh, to disembark uh, during uh, D-Day, but uh, it can be uh, used where I want to use it later on. And the thing that is important here is uh, you just can't, I uh, use uh, infantry uh, men uh, standing, and the other thing too is to try to find them all standing, uh, very, very difficult to do. And they all had their life preservers on, as you can see. Okay, that is a very, very, very important uh, uh, thing. And uh, so that's the box, and uh, here's uh, them done up. Uh, that just happens to be uh, an officer and so on and so forth, the front and back. And, of course, they got their color call-outs. And if anybody knows, I believe these are Vallejos. I need your confirmation on that. Uh, number one is a flat olive drab. The paint number would be 4728 Alpha Papa. And uh, please confirm these are Vallejo paints. I can get my hands on, on these, okay, if I have to. But uh, it'd be interesting um, uh, to know. Uh, they, there's four sprues that, in the box. And uh, we're, we're not going to get uh, all four. Uh, we are going to pull two out. Uh, the other thing, too, that is nice is that it does come with a piece of uh, rubber hose, okay, for the flamethrower. 
So uh, we'll put that aside, and uh, we'll get into uh, the uh, the pictures themselves or the the figures themselves. Uh, quite busy. It's going to be quite daunting, as you can see there, to paint uh, all those bits of gear and all that good stuff. Uh, uh, on the chest of the, the various individuals, and uh, same as we look at the detail there of that boot, the lacing, and that's going to be <laughs> that's going to be interesting. Okay, so uh, we've got uh, a total of ten figures. Okay, and we can see the Christmas there, and uh, I don't see a seam line. Okay, so uh, an excellent uh, kit. And uh, here we have uh, the uh, <clears throat> uh, the sprue, okay, with all uh, the various equipment. There we got our ammo bandoliers and so on and so forth, shovels, uh, their backpacks, lovely detail on the backpacks. And what else can we focus on? Their little haversacks, once again. Uh, here's a, uh, a rifle beautiful detail on uh, that particular uh, uh, machine gun now, there we have the uh, the uh, flamethrower uh, tanks and over here we have the uh, the radio set <clears throat> and there is the uh, the rack there right down here okay of uh, for the um, <laughs> the flamethrower and all that good stuff. Uh, check out the uh, the detail, if it can come in on autofocus on a grenade. We can actually see the pineapple. Okay, so uh, beautiful, beautifully done. Uh, I don't see any flash and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, the tripod for the machine gun. So, uh, and here we have a, a bazooka. Okay. And, uh, interesting. Uh, no seam on the bazooka. <laughs> so, except where you nip it off, a little bit of sanding there, but uh, nonetheless. And here we have uh, the bandoliers. Okay. That uh, bandolier torpedoes are known as. And if we look at uh, the GPMG, okay, the uh, 30 caliber machine gun. Uh, absolutely beautiful detail. So uh, that's uh, that for this particular uh, uh, review. And it was more about uh, uh, getting the kits out there for folks, okay? And this is the Italian uh, U.S. Uh, Infantry, okay, uh, on for the landing craft, okay? It's kit number 6522. And... Um, Contains 10 figures, and of course, uh, the other one was the LCMM crew uh, from Trumpeter, okay, kit number 0400408, and uh, two nice kits uh, necessary if you intend to use your LCM, okay, for a landing, and that was my intent. I'll be picturing it in a diorama uh, of the landing craft going towards the uh, uh, in a water scene and all that good stuff. I'm going to uh, step out of my comfort zone, create my first water scene and so on, uh, going into Incheon Harbor, okay, for a landing. And uh, thanks for watching, folks. Without further ado, Switcher, signing off.